This ministry is blessed and anointed by God to give you a very special gift from Him to you and the world. He has drawn biblical stories on the earth through satellite images, confirming His word, Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 12. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world, speaking about Satan, but the spirit who is from God, that's God's Holy Spirit, that we might understand the things freely given us by God. These images are freely given to us by God. And we impart this in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. Glory to God! These pictures are just a sample of some of the beautiful, beautiful images that God has placed on the earth using rocks and sticks and sand and trees and everything that he created. He is revealing truth in the word on the earth through satellite image. According to Psalm 8511, truth shall spring from the earth and the righteous shall look down from heaven. He's speaking about the images that he's placed on the earth according to his word. His word is truth. And these images are just a drop in the bucket. We have a conglomeration of images all over the world. We've spent about two years uh, for about six or eight months it was daily spending time with God and having the Holy Spirit to reveal all these beautiful images that God has put on the earth just absolutely amazing
According to Psalm 85:11, truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The truth that King David wrote about being led by the Holy Spirit is now being unveiled. Through this ministry, God has chosen to reveal more than 3,000 images to date, with more than a third of these confirmed images revealing biblical stories in the Bible. We work diligently to either credit to or dismiss each image according to the Word of God. If it does not line up with the Word of God, we do not use it. It may be used if it's a past event such as Hitler, a current event such as Obama, or a future event such as the Antichrist uh, in some of these videos that we've, we've made from the satellite images that the Holy Spirit has shared with us. According to Acts 2, 19, I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. God is in the midst of pouring out his spirit all over the world. He is giving old men dreams and visions to young men. He is working in this presentation right now. His purpose for you seeing these things, including the exact location of where they can be found through satellite programs, are to give the truth of his word to you and allowing the Holy Spirit to touch you to bless us with what God has blessed you with. Nobody else has received these detailed location images from us before today outside of this ministry. Praise God. Hola, Kenya, la Hakeria, la Kachiona, la Kiria, la Kanyana, Hakeria, la. This is a prophetic message in your life. It in, should instill the fact that God is speaking to you through His awesome Word, Christ Jesus, and His satellite images that He drew on the earth, His precious artwork combined to reveal the truth of His Word. Do not dismiss this prophecy. By doing so, you are dismissing the Holy Spirit from moving in your life and in this ministry. This is a strong message for Israel, the Jewish people, and the Gentiles of all races and nationalities around the world. God knew and knows all that has happened and what is still to take place. Many of the images that we have been led to by the Holy Spirit include more modern issues and leaders that we have been and will be introduced to. This is real, it is truth from God, and is awesome revelation into the truth of the Bible, the Word, Christ Jesus. We ask that you take a few moments to clear your mind, seek God for His guidance and allow the Holy Spirit to reveal to you the truth in these images revealing the word Christ Jesus in your life.
Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you remove the veil of those watching this, regardless of where they are in this world or the relationship that they have with you. We pray healings, faith, restoration, truth, and most of all, love be shown through your majestic and awesome artwork that you have created, Father God, for the world to see. We ask for the presence of the Holy Spirit to touch each individual watching this and pray for an anointing of your love, your spirit, and your truth of the word, our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus, to pour out in major and awesome ways. Touch them to receive the understanding that this ministry is like no other. Totally dependent on you, Father. Faithful in the works that you have us to do, Father. And bring a strong desire for them to partner with us to keep all of this revelation that you give us, Father, free to the world. We thank you for your love, Father, your word, Christ Jesus, and the Holy Spirit that you are pouring out on the world. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. Image number 0051, the Antichrist, Scripture, 1 John 2, do not love the world. Verse 15, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride of life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. God is trying to touch you in this video to partner with us. We ask that you do that. We ask that you be faithful in obedience to what God is telling you and what God is leading you to do. And that is to partner with this ministry. First John 2, Warning Concerning Antichrist. Verse 18, Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard, the Antichrist is coming. So now many Antichrists have come. Therefore we know that this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us, for if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they might become plain that they are all not of us, but you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth but because you know it, and because no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, he who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you too will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he made to us, eternal life. First John 2 verse 26 I write these things to you about those who are trying to deceive you. But the anointing that you have received from him abides in you, and you have no need that anyone should teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about everything, and is true, and is no lie, just as it has taught you, abide in him. Psalm 85 verse 10 Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed. Truth shall spring out of the earth, 
and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yes, the Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him, and shall make his footsteps our pathway. Second Thessalonians 2 The Man of Lawlessness now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we ask you, brothers, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed, either by a spirit or a spoken word, or a letter seeming to be from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed the son of destruction who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called god or object of worship so that he takes his seat in the temple of god proclaiming himself to be god do you not remember that when i was still with you i told you these things and you know what is restraining him now so that he may be revealed in his time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way, and then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders and with all wicked deception for those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved therefore God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false in order that they may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Second Thessalonians 2 Stand firm, but we ought always to give thanks to God for you, brothers beloved by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits to be saved through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To this he called you through our gospel, so that you may obtain the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers, stand firm and hold to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by our spoken word or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and gave us eternal comfort, and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Revelation 20, verse 4. Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed, also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the one who shares in this first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years.
If you've been keeping up with our videos, you'll know that two of these images are from previous videos. One is from uh, Truth Has Sprung, video number three, and the one in the middle is from the Obama video, and then the one on the far left is from this video. God has implemented a masquerade mask, if you will, uh, as to not reveal the Antichrist at this time. These are three separate images found in three separate locations, and this is not all of them. We have other images revealing the Antichrist, revealing uh, certain political leaders, government leaders, uh, just some awesome stuff. If you have even considered partnering it with us now's the time we need people to partner with us to help glorify God bring truth to the word of Jesus Christ through these satellite images and allow the Holy Spirit to work in people's lives many many millions of people do not have access to the internet we're working diligently to put a book together that will go out throughout the world. Uh, different plans of action that God has led us to, to be able to bring these images to people that don't have internet, that don't have television, to show his love for them and to give him glory for bringing the revelation of an image, a satellite image, according to scripture, Psalm 85, 11, and Acts 2, Luke 22. There's so many scriptures that back this up. Now is the time to join us. That is such an eye-opening sight to see. God giving us three images of the mask covering the face of the Antichrist. Glory to God for revealing his truth through Christ Jesus. Over the past few weeks, we have revealed through this ministry being led by the Holy Spirit according to Christ Jesus, according to God's truth and love, nearly 50 videos with detailed locations, scriptures, and detailings of the satellite images that God has given according to his word. Give God praise and glory that you are a part of biblical history and future. Now is the time to partner with us. Spread God's truth to the world. This is only a drop in the bucket of what's to come. We believe that God has touched you with his amazing artwork on the earth. This ministry has many needs that God will meet. We desire a divine intervention with you to listen to God and give your best love gift, continued support, and allow God to use you to bless the world. We are not sure what you're waiting on, but now is the time. Our assistance with this is desired in many different ways, including research, historians at many different levels, IT assistant, and with finances. Where can you help? What is God leading you to do or assist us with? Our goals will be met by God, and this is a very special opportunity for you to join with us to accomplish what God is doing through this ministry for the Jews and for the world. If you would like to partner with us now, with continuous support, offer your best one-time gift tied to Speak Personally to Me, Evangelist Gary Davis, or provide assistance to us, please email us at info at godsartministries.com. If you'd like to mail your check or money order to us, please do so at the address below. Please do not send cash and make all checks payable to Gary or Trina Davis. We also accept credit cards through PayPal at www 
www.paypal.me forward slash God's Art Ministries. Thank you, and we pray a hundredfold return over every dollar that we receive. In the name of Christ Jesus, Lord of all lords, King of all kings, we praise you, God, right now for every gift that this person is giving. And we pray that hundredfold return in Jesus' name. Amen. We've already read scripture in this video about God's revelation being given to us for free. And this ministry believes that the revelation that God gives to us needs to also remain free to the world, to anyone that wants to receive it, whether it be through these videos, through books. But we need your support. We need your help to keep this going. And we need your help to show God's love to the world through this ministry in every single way. We know there are partners out there that can that can join us with unlimited financial assistance, with unlimited research assistance, with unlimited historical research, biblical historians, IT services. We know that you're out there. And we thank God for you right now partnering with us. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. It is written, Jeremiah 33, verse 2, Thus says the Lord who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Look at that. Jeremiah wrote about this ministry right here about this ministry revealing the truth of God's word through satellite image. Deuteronomy 29, the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things that are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of his law. Proverbs 25, it is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings is to search things out. Glory to God. It is written in Amos 3, verse 7, For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. The lion has roared. Who will not fear the Lord God has spoken who can but prophesy look at that God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants and the prophets we are having truth revealed to us God does nothing without revealing his truth first Corinthians 2 but as it is written what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. Look at that. God has prepared his truth in his word with a picture on the earth through satellite image to back it up. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except the Spirit of that person which is in him? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Look at that. We've got to humble ourselves, people, and come down to a childlike manner and allow God to give us this truth, this revelation, his promises, everything according to scripture. So awesome. 
Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given us by God. That scripture right there is what we base this ministry on. Because God freely gives everything that we need, we should too, in turn, give it free to the world. And we impart this in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. The spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one. For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Oh, glory to God. We thank you for partnering with us. We thank you for spreading these videos and, and the gospel message of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for helping this ministry to grow and thrive all around the world. We thank you so much. We glorify God for all of his truth. We thank God for every single thing that you help this ministry with. This ministry is all about touching the world, every corner of it. We thank you so much in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. Amen.